death camps. And if I can get my family out, I will. But it'll just be out of the fire into the frying pan. Uh, but a lot of elitists are moving to Chile, and they're pulling out of Costa Rica and Central America. What do you make of that uh, overall, uh, Matias Rojas, uh, the great uh, patriot who confronted David Rockefeller so handily? I think that uh, we have to uh, let known to these people that they are not safe anywhere. <laughs> these elitists. What? I mean, just let them know that we're fully aware of their activities. Yes, yes. I wanted to make that um, uh, to I wanted to let know to Mr. Rockefeller that we are not uh, his slaves. Uh, I mean, they have done an incredible job destroying the the, the values, the family system, everything uh, across the world. Um, I want uh, the people of Chile also uh, to know that uh, they need. To find out about this man, uh, CNN even covered uh, the video uh, of my confrontation. Uh, some uh, the, the media are now asking, why is this guy David Rockefeller meeting with Agustin Edwards uh, here in Chile? Uh, we know that at least uh, Sebastián Piñera, who is a uh, current president of Chile, called for a world government, literally a world government during a uh, meeting epic uh, last year. And we know that vaccines are damaging little kids. Here we had a little case of a little child called Max from Talca uh, in the south of Chile, who was paralyzed by the uh, H1N1 um, flu shot. So it sounds like folks are waking up in Chile, but yeah. your politicians are just flaunting it in your face. Are folks aware in Chile that David Rockefeller uh, over Kissinger uh, was involved in honchoing some of the Pinochet uh, activities? Yes, yes, they are very involved in that. Um, there's a lot of documentaries uh, made in Chile about that, about what happened, but they are still, they are still uh, trapped by the left-right uh, paradigm. I uploaded this video and they say that, oh, I am a communist because uh, this uh, takeover of Chile was right wing. Well, I will say to them that uh, Rockefeller was also involved um, uh, praising Mao or praising Fidel Castro in Cuba. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, they play memoirs, both sides yeah? of the authoritarian Obviously. right and left, and they try to keep us frozen in that. Yes, well, Rockefeller was also involved uh, giving rewards to uh, Ricardo Lagos, a former Chilean president who, was called, uh, who has called for world governance uh, to fight a global warming. You can find uh, his videos. He uh, was uh, a special envoy uh, from the United Nations uh, to South America about this uh, previous to Copenhagen, uh, the, the meeting. Um, in Chile, we have something called Council of Americas, of the Americas that's derived from uh, the Council on Foreign Relations and uh, the Trilateral Commission and was founded by uh, David Rockefeller. It's oh, like I know. He's arm. founded more yes. than 60 globalist groups, and they, like, praise him at the U.N. and admit he's the one single-handedly, you know, if you, if you had to pick one person who's been at the center of the of traveling the world to set up this world government and praising Mao, the biggest mass murderer in history. Uh, Matias Rojas, I was going to take off this Friday and take my children uh, camping. Mm -hmm. Then I got a call from Ron Paul, uh, and he's able to come on Friday, so I'm going to go ahead and do the show Friday, at least the first hour if we nail that down. Uh, Paul Watson was going to be sitting in. I'd like to invite you to stay on the line, and if you can, maybe come on for 30 minutes with Paul Watson. Uh, on Friday, Joel Skousen's also set. Uh, so it's going to be Alex Jones, Paul Watson, Joel Skousen. I'd like to give you 30 minutes more. We'd like to hear from you with your great knowledge about what's happening in South America, uh, in beautiful Chile. But we salute you, Mr. Rojas, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for defending liberty and humanity. God bless you. What a great man we all can... A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner general growth properties in fact barons called his work a dire prophecy recently he created a video which you can watch online for free detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet and it's a real eye-opener 
I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Alex told you the government announced recently that the recession is over. It ended on June of 2009. The millions of Americans unable to find work might not agree. Perhaps the recession ended for the bankers and government employees, but for the rest of us, things seem to be getting worse. Gold and silver haven't heard the news either. They've begun their long-expected journey to the moon. In addition to converting your shrinking dollars into gold and silver, you should consider a food savings account from eFoods Direct. They both make fabulous investments. Food is our greatest dependency, and we know it will be more precious than any financial resource. You and your family need food to survive a crisis, and you can't eat paper, stocks, or metals. Alex has been urging you to invest in delicious, easy-fix meals to enjoy now or save for long term. This will freeze the cost of your food while you can still afford it. Visit eFoodsDirect.com on the Internet or call 800-409-5633. That's eFoodsDirect.com or 800-409-5633. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Matias Rojas down in Chile confronts Rockefeller, brings up real issues. I knew when I saw it two days ago and we posted it on Infowars.com and it had about 200 views, it was going to go big. And now, uh, yeah, uh, CNN, um, media outlets all over the world are carrying it. It's big news in South America. And people are asking, why was this young man saying he's a killer? And they're talking and debating the eugenics. See, if we lay down, we know they win. But if we stand up, we're going to win. We have the truth. They're telling us communist China is good and that they're the good guys when this group that runs it is, is killed more people than Hitler ever thought about. See, they're trying to just get us to accept tyranny and death and desensitize us. And I just salute um, Mr. Rojas with what he's done and talking about how they want to destroy the family and sterilize us. That is so wonderful to see a 17-year-old man having this effect. Just like when I saw Luke Radowski going to the CFR and confronting people, he was getting almost no attention, and we had him on the show to give him a platform. And that's why this show is so valuable, is that so many times we're able to put people on air and turbocharge the incredible work they're doing so they can then be an example to others. And now look at how Luke has been an example to countless others. And I go to that young man, 17 years old's website, and he's got our films uploaded in Spanish. He's working hard. He's reaching hundreds of thousands of people a week, if you look at the hit counters. Before he did this, one guy using the enemy system of YouTube reaching hundreds of thousands a week. Now he's reaching millions this week. You got to have that fight in you. And you got to recognize who the enemy is. China's corrupt and murderous. The Chinese people are not bad. They're fighting back. Our government supporting China is propping that up. The people of Mexico are great, hard work, and smart people. Their government tries to scapegoat them against the U.S. in nationalism so that they don't take their own government back. And our corrupt government and the big banks keeps the corrupt government in place. And every time they try to have a real election, 
the election experts from the U.S. go down there and help people cheat. That's on record with Calderon right now. It's the people against the globalists. So the globalists try to divide us into the camps of communist or conservative. When we were given a fake conservative police state and a fake communist liberal system, and by fake they're not real, they're false choices, all financed by that piece of trash, David Rockefeller. We want the globalists to stop what they're doing. We want the out-of-control corruption to end. Now, joining us with, in with incredible information is Lindsey Williams, and we will, we will do 20 minutes of overdrive in the next hour because I need to have him at least for an hour and 10 minutes or so. I wasn't going to even do two hours, but I have meetings I have to go to, so I apologize to Lindsey for that, but I'm sure he doesn't want to do two hours to begin with. Uh, we're going to go to him in just a moment, but there's major breaking news. Remember a month ago, we had uh, Attorney Phil Berg and Tarpley and Madsen and everybody else on, liberal, conservative, doesn't matter, investigators. And it's clear Obama is an Indonesian citizen. That's not debated. His real name is Barry Sitaro. He gave up his U.S. citizenship. He's ineligible to be U.S. president under federal law at that time. And it's retroactive. Uh, he's probably born in Kenya. The evidence is about 90% that direction. We know he worked for the CIA, and so did his mommy and all the rest of them, and his daddy, and Ford Foundation, along with Geithner's dad. They came up together. Now, the uh, Democratic governor, Neil Abercrombie, and we're going to Lindsey Williams, but I want to get Lindsey's take on this first. Neil Abercrombie, he came out a month ago when he was about to get sworn in. You know, in December, he said, when I get in in January, which he's now done, I'm going to go get the birth certificate. And I'm going to put it out. But he said, I need permission from Obama, so please let me. And the White House was mum. And even Chris Slimeball Matthews on the same channel as Mr. Maddow uh, said that, why don't you just release the original birth certificate? They went from denying that his real birth certificate hadn't been given out and saying that receipt that computer printed receipt was it? No, no, that wasn't the blueprint copy. That wasn't uh, the, you know the sign one by the doctor with the baby feet on it. And now the governor is saying it's not there. I, I don't know what to do. Now this is on World Net Daily. We're got it linked up on Infowars.com and PrisonBonnet.com. A uh, Hawaiian governor can't find Obama's birth certificate, suggests controversy could hurt president's re-election chances. Maybe there's a reason Obama bows to the British royalty, to the communist Chinese, to the Saudi royalty, to anybody and everybody. He bows and they don't even tip their head. He bows and then they don't even, you know, because sometimes I shake hands and tend to, you know, like friendly hi. You know, it's like, ah. Uh. But no, he's a and then And then he lies and says he's picking something up. This guy's blackmailed, period. And we know he is. Hawaiian Governor Neil Abercrombie suggested in an interview published today that a long-form hospital-generated birth certificate for Barack Obama. And, and Marley, let's link through to that actual Hawaiian article and post a blurb on that and then link to it. It's the first link in the World Net Daily. Let's get that on InfoWars as well. Hawaii governor can't find Obama's birth certificate, suggests controversy could hurt president's re-election chances. Governor Neil Abercrombie suggested in an interview published today that a long-form hospital-generated birth certificate for Barack Obama may not exist within the vital records maintained by the Hawaiian Department of Health. I mean, I remember like a decade ago, my grandmother, for some reason, had to get her birth certificate from the 1920s and got it. I mean, they've got all those. Oh, sorry, not on a guy born in 63, sorry. Abercrombie spokeswoman in Honolulu uh, ignored again today another series of repeated requests made by World Net Daily for an interview with the governor. We're going to get Dr. Jerome Corsi, who's been to Africa to cover this in Kenya and got arrested, not allowed to go talk to Obama's grandma, who says, oh, he was born here. They got statues in Kenya saying he was born there. His wife in speeches in 97 and 98 said my husband from Kenya went back to his homeland of Kenya where he was born. Toward the end of the interview, the newspaper asked Abercrombie, you stirred up quite a controversy with your comments regarding birthers and your plan to release more information regarding Barack Obama's, President Obama's birth certificate. How's that going? And in response, Abercrombie acknowledged the birth certificate issue will have political implications for the next presidential elections that we simply cannot have. And he went on to say that they are unable to find it. 
Sorry to interrupt part of the interview with that, Lindsey Williams, but this is a pretty big piece of news here that the governor's now saying, he said, I'm going to release it. And now he's saying we can't find it. What does that sound like to you? Do we have uh, Lindsey? Uh, Lindsey, are you there? Right here, Alex. Thank you. Lindsey, uh, uh, sorry to get you on a little bit late. What's your take?